Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will travel to South Africa this autumn for a short getaway, the country's British High Commissioner announced today. Speaking to a press conference this morning, Nigel Casey, Britain's High Commissioner to South Africa confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be traveling to South Africa for a short trip this autumn. Mr. Casey joked about how Meghan and Harry would bring a flurry of economic growth to South Africa because people would purchase hats and frocks, in a nod to British traditions. Shedding a light of humor on the news, he told journalists, that's great news for us, and I predict it's also good news for the South African economy. I predict the hat and frock buying frenzy to rival Sona, the country's state of the nation address, which took place last Thursday, which could restore economic growth all on its own. We're hugely looking forward to that and thanks and anticipation for that and all the support that I know we're going to receive. He added, this a much shorter visit, they'll be here for a matter of days and not months. It is believed the royals will make pit stops in Angola, Malawi, Lesotho and Botswana, but no details of their trip have been released by Kensington Palace. Harry's advisors are working on a bespoke role for the couple, which include work on behalf of the Commonwealth, charitable initiatives and efforts to promote Britain, a source told the Sunday Times in April. The couple will reportedly stop in Malawi for Harry's charity Scentball, which supports the mental health and well-being of children and young people affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana. They are also said to travel to Angola and continue the late Princess Diana's work by aiding the government's plans to clear landmines at two national parks. It is unclear whether the royal couple will bring their newborn son Archie Harrison along. Kensington Palace has yet to release a statement confirming the tour. They said in April, any future plans for the Duke and Duchess are speculative at this stage. No decisions have been taken about future roles. The Duke will continue to fulfill his role as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador. Meghan is expected to return back to royal duties between September to October following her maternity leave. The Duchess of Sussex gave birth earlier in May and made her second ever appearance at this year's Trooping of the Colour. Meanwhile, Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and her husband Prince William are rumored to be planning a trip to Asia for a royal tour. It is believed the pair will travel to Commonwealth countries which could include Bangladesh, India, Malaysia and Singapore. Kate and William's trip to Asia are said to be weeks apart from Meghan and Harry's tour to South Africa, according, a source told the Mail on Sunday.